It's Thursday, July 12th, and this is your Milwaukee Rev Insider. Hello everyone, I'm Austin Bean here with all the latest on what's going on around the Rep. And next week we'll begin the first performances for our world premiere of Lost Girl, written by Kimberly Bellflower and performed by the students of our Professional Training Institute. These students who have spent the past year at the Rep receiving free training from some of the top theater professionals in the world now get a chance to cap their experience as paid professional actors. And this world premiere that tells the story of Peter Pan from Wendy's perspective is a perfect piece for these 12 students between 9th and 12th grade. Lost Girl is directed by Ryan Quinn, who also directed last year's production of So Thrive My Soul. Performances run Thursday, July 19th through Sunday, July 22nd. Tickets are just $5 and can be purchased on our website, over the phone, or at the ticket office, so don't miss out. Now, later this month, we'll be celebrating Christmas in July, and Rachel has some more information on that. This month is all about Christmas and your annual production of A Christmas Carol at the Paps Theater. In just under two weeks, our popular one-day sale for our annual holiday production will return on Monday, July 23rd. On that day, you can purchase tickets early for up to 25% off when you use the promo code DICKENS. Tickets will be available beginning at 7 a.m. online and at 9 a.m. through our ticket office at 414-224-9490. This is your best chance to get the best seats to our wonderful holiday production at the best price. For more information, visit our website at www.milwaukeerep.com. Good news! We just announced the casts for many of the shows coming up in our 65th anniversary season. Beginning the season in the Stackner Cabaret for our American premiere of Songs for Nobodies, we are thrilled to have Bethany Thomas join us playing all five of the legendary divas, including Judy Garland, Billie Holiday, and Patsy Cline. Earlier this week, we got a first look at Bethany Thomas singing one of the iconic songs in the show. Take a look. I guess when you met me, it was just one of those things. But don't you ever bet me, cause I'm gonna be true, yeah, me. Now, in the Quadrachi Powerhouse, we just announced the entire cast for our musical, In the Heights. And this cast boasts incredible actors, including the actor playing Usnavi, Ryan Alvarado, who toured with the first national tour of Hamilton. Moving to the Steamkey studio for our production of Guards at the Taj, we are happy to welcome back Oes Ahmed, back again from The Invisible Hand three seasons ago. And later in the season, in the Stackner Cabaret, Kelly Faulkner will be joining us for the all-night strut. We'll also have a lot more updates on casting for the rest of the season in the coming weeks. For more information, visit our website and click on the On Stage tab. Join us for a free play reading of a piece under development as part of the Rep's John Jack D. Lewis New Play Development Program. Presented by the Rep, the United Community Center, and Latino Arts, Grandma's Empanadas by KJ Sanchez is a play exploring a community's heritage and identity through music, food, and personal narratives. This play is based entirely on interviews with Milwaukee's Latino and Latina community. Join us Monday, July 30th, 5.30 p.m. at the United Community Center for this free and fun event. To RCP, visit our homepage under the Tickets and Events tab. We are thrilled to announce Northwestern Mutual President Greg Oberlin as our newly elected board president for a two-year term. Greg has been a trustee for five years, and we are very proud to have him with us. Joining him are nine newly elected trustees, including Molly Fritz of the Charles E. Kubley Foundation, Brian House and Chris Leaders from Foley and Lardner, Linda Johnson from Harley-Davidson, community volunteers Joan Lubar and Craig Swan, James Phelps of JCP Construction, Hush Blackwell's Joe Pickart, and Karen Plunkett from the Plunkett Family Foundation. Additionally, four trustees were elected to new positions on Milwaukee Rep's Executive Committee, including Ed Seberg as immediate past president, Gina Peter as VP of Development, as well as Joaquin El Toro and Linda Marcus as at-large appointments. We are thrilled to have this great group join us on our board. To see the full board trustee list, visit our website and click on the Inside the Rep tab. Thanks, Chuck. Now, before we go, here's a fun fact for you. Did you know that the Rep produced musicals as far back as 1959? In fact, our very first musical we produced was a production of Damn Yankees. 
and then we loved it so much we decided to produce another musical in the very same season, the iconic story of the disappearing Scottish town, Brigadoon. It was a hit, and just a couple years later, we were lucky enough to bring a third musical to Milwaukee. This time, it was the Fresh from New York production of The Fantastics. In fact, The Rep was the first theater to produce this show after its off-Broadway premiere in 1962. All this to say that The Rep and musicals have had a long history together. Now, just a reminder that single tickets are on sale now for this year's musical, Lin-Manuel Miranda's Sizzling in the Heights. Now, that's it for this week, but you can always learn more about everything going on around the rep by following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at at M-I-L-W-Rep. For now, we leave you with Bethany Thomas performing Come Rain or Come Shine from Songs for Nobodies. Cheers, everyone. Days may be cloudy or sunny We're in or we're out of the money But I'm with you always 